Another guy in the same ballpark, my number 22, is Michael Pittman Jr. I think Pittman Jr., like, I don't know. I really don't know what to make of his season, right? Like, um, still is getting the targets mentioned. He's in the same range in terms of targets per route run as Judy. So another guy right in this range here. Uh, feels like it was just a lost season in Indianapolis. Uh, you have Jim Ursay apparently basically dictating who the quarterback is week to week, and there's just no consistency on the offensive side of the ball. And even when Matt Ryan was in there, like it just severely hampered what they were able to do with that offense, um, just his limitations as a quarterback at his age. So I feel like Michael Pittman probably got dealt a bit of a raw hand last year, and I feel like there should be more upside, but obviously... Uh, similar to what we were talking about with Carolina, there's a lot of questions about what that quarterback situation looks like. Uh, are you excited about Pittman? Is this the range where you have him as well? Or am I a little bit too bullish for you still here? No, I, I like this range for him. Uh, again, I think I think this tier, There's you have one guy in this tier uh, of wide receivers that I don't personally agree with. Um, and it's, we haven't gotten to him yet, so don't worry there. Um, <laughs> Pittman is again, and it's kind of just the story of this wide receiver tier. We know the talents there. The situation has just been chaos. Even last yeah. year, you know, uh, a little bit of the chaos with Michael Pittman will be himself. He, you know, he, he does have a tendency to drop the football. Um, you know, I know that comes with volume. I know, you know, we don't look into it too much, but it does happen. Um, we, we saw it happen last year. It was, it was very visible. Um, he was 12th in football and drops last year, um, but it was also 11th in volume. So kind of just right in line there, but his a dot dropped almost, you know, a yard and a half. That's a concern. You know, we thought with Michael, with, uh, with Matt Ryan, he was going to be, you know, throwing the ball downfield a little bit more, but as you pointed out, the, the capability is just not there as much with him anymore. Um, Sam Ellinger, not a great quarterback. Let's be honest here. Um, that offensive line struggled, JT struggled and then was hurt, you know, with Pittman, you know, you're going to get volume, you know, he's going to be running routes. He's going to be on the, if he's on the field, he's running a route. It's pretty much what you like the, the, all the makings of a good wide receiver are there and the talent we know is there. It's just going to be a matter of, can the quarterback situation figure it out? The Colts mm -hmm. are, uh, as a Bears fan, one of my prime candidates of a potential trade-up as well. We could see them jump Houston to come up to one. They get their quarterback if they get a C.J. Stroud, if they get a Bryce Young here. I, I think Pittman almost probably shoots up markets a little bit and becomes a little bit more of a sell. Um, but even at, at what I imagine his top selling price would be, I'm probably in. Um, you have him here listed as like 106. I've gotten offers for like the 108 and I've just held Pittman at this point just because I do think that ceiling is a little bit higher there. Um, yeah. But for me, you know, I, I agree with where you're at here. I just want to see these guys get some good quarterbacks, especially Pittman, because we know the talent is there. Yep. Yeah, absolutely agree. Yeah, Pittman is definitely a guy, pretty much you could say this, I guess, about any of these guys that have quarterback questions. What happens at quarterback will dictate a lot of his market movement in the next little bit, I do think. Like, you see mock drafts where they do move up and they get Bryce Young, and obviously that's something that, I don't know about you, but I personally would be excited about for Indianapolis and for Michael Pittman. But then there's other mocks where they both quarterbacks that we like to see go off early and they sit there and they take Will Levis, and now I'm not so sure if I'm if I'm into that, especially for next year and what that might mean. You know, if, if any wide receiver has a couple of down years in a row then it really starts to hurt their market value and then it might just be a situation where despite what you think of the talent uh, he might just be held back by situation enough where it's, he's just not going to return value for you at the price you'd have to take him here so uh, this is where I've got him for now definitely there will be some movement based on the quarterback uh, unless it's just you know kind of a really steady Eddie veteran kind of guy like if Jimmy Garoppolo went to Indianapolis or something like that this is probably where Pittman would end up yeah um but yeah, I, I feel like there's something, something's going to change in Indianapolis. And so I am interested to see what goes on there and what that does for Pittman's dynasty stock moving forward. Um,